Hey traders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a scalp trading strategy that you can use to consistently make $100, $500, even $1000 or more per day from the stock market. It is entirely scalable and you can even use it to trade options for these underlying stocks if you're someone that's just starting off and maybe you have a smaller account. Uh, so that way with the options it's not going to require you to have a large amount of money in order to take advantage of this scalp trading strategy. Now the entire idea behind this strategy is simply going to be to look for relative strength or relative weakness when compared to SPY. So we're not actually trading SPY, which is the ETF for the S&P 500. We're actually just going to be using SPY as a reference point in order to make trades in these other large cap stocks. Uh, you know, stocks like Apple, Netflix, Nvidia, Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon, and so on and so forth. So if we take these two charts that we see up here at the top, this chart on the left is the chart for SPY, again, just being our reference point. And the chart over here is going to be the stock that we're actually going to be trading. In this case, this happens to be the chart for Shopify. Now we can see that pretty much right at the market open, SPY trades sideways a bit and then ends up having a sell off to the downside. On the other side of the spectrum, Shopify over here doesn't trade sideways right at the market open, it actually spikes up. So that's telling us right away that there is relative strength in Shopify when compared to the S&P 500. And because of that, we wanna take advantage of that relative strength, and we want to look to buy into these dips or buy into these breakout points. So if we compare these two charts on a candle to candle basis, uh, right at the market open, we see SPY forms a low, it bounces up a bit, and then it comes back down, breaks briefly below that low, and actually forms a lower low right here. At the same time, we have Shopify form its low here at the open, it spikes up, and at this point, it has this little pullback here. This is when SPY was making a lower low all the way below its opening range point. We can see obviously this is well above its opening range point and it actually forms a significant higher low. So that again is a bullish sign that Shopify is much stronger than the general market is at this particular time. Uh, so we could look to buy into this dip here and we can see that as SPY starts to bounce back up, obviously Shopify being much stronger than SPY at this point in time, it ends up having a nice breakout above that opening range and spikes from about $42 per share up to about $43.65. Now this may not sound like a ton of money, but this same thing happens over and over and over again in many different stocks all throughout the market day. So because this is a scalp trading strategy, we're looking to take advantage of these very quick moves, usually under 10 minutes per trade in my experience using this type of strategy. And depending on your position size and your account balance, you're looking to really just lock in, you know, maybe just $50, $100, or a couple hundred dollars per trade in this scalp trading strategy. Now on the other side of the spectrum, at the same time that this went from about $42 to $43.65, if you're someone that trades options, there were most likely options that easily went up 10, 20, 30% within this time frame here. So you can see how these relatively small moves in the market can actually lead to some pretty significant profits in the long run. Now, if we take another example here, this time we have Tesla over here on the right, and we're still using SPY as our reference point over here on the left. And although it doesn't look like there's much relative strength here in Tesla, a really solid example of this can be found down here at the low of the day. We see that at this point in time, SPY is still trending to the downside, and when it forms this low down here, it breaks down obviously below the previous low, before bouncing back up. Now at this exact same time, we see that Tesla actually formed a double bottom. So when SPY was breaking down to new lows, Tesla is forming a double bottom and is holding above the previous low. That is again a sign of relative strength. That can be a good signal to look to buy into this dip here. And obviously we can see that it did recover very nicely along with SPY. Uh, Tesla bounced from 191.80 at the low all the way up to just a little bit later being up at a high of 196.70. So it bounced nearly $5 per share there in just about half of an hour. And again, being that today is Thursday and tomorrow is Friday, so there are options that expire tomorrow for Tesla, there were likely weekly options within that same time frame that went up over 100% in this $5 move in Tesla. All right, so those are a few examples of relative strength in the market. But this exact same strategy can also be applied to relative weakness. And you can look at those relatively weak stocks um, as opportunities to short sell or as an options trader, um, there would be an opportunity for you to buy some put options.
So if we take a look here at the meta chart, this is a solid example of some relative weakness that we're seeing here in meta as compared to when compared to SPY. And the reason for that is if we take a look at SPY, currently its price is just at about the price of this recent peak here that happened at about 11 a.m. And if we take a look at Meta, at 11 a.m., Meta's price was all the way up here at about $120.70. Now it's all the way down about a dollar lower, showing us again that there is some relative weakness here in Meta. So in this case, what we would do is look to actually take a short position. I'm going to draw a line here. And I'm just going to let this kind of play out and let the screen record this process here. We're going to see where meta goes from here, but keep in mind that this line here is where we would look to enter into our short position. Obviously, we would have a stop loss in place somewhere up here. And we would also have a profit target down here for our scalp trade. Um, we would look to take advantage now of this pullback. And of course, the quicker we see SPY start to pull back, the quicker Meta is also going to pull back and the quicker that this short position is going to become profitable. We can see here Meta is already starting to break down nicely. SPY has only pulled back a little bit and obviously Meta being relatively weak to SPY um, is starting to sell off more quickly to the downside now. So this short position would be becoming more and more profitable here. Short position would already be up about 30 cents per share. Um, again, being a scalp trading strategy, this is a solid profit already. And we're just going to let it play out here, uh, see if we can reach our, you know, our example profit target. Um, in this case, what I would do probably would be to move down my stop loss just to protect myself if it happens to start bouncing back and start to uh, show some signs of relative strength. But we can see again, it is, you know, it is looking relatively weak, pulling back, getting closer and closer to that profit target for this short position. And yeah, there'd be a good chance that I would look to actually lock in some profits here uh, because we can see that this is a potential triple bottom if this starts to hold. But this would have been a very solid quick scalp here to the short side, uh, just using this relative weakness that we were seeing here in Meta's chart when compared to SPY. Okay, so I just wanted to cover this strategy very quickly, give you guys a basic understanding of how it works. This is a strategy that I use not every single day, but mostly on days that there are not a lot of small caps that are moving. Uh, since I mostly trade stocks that are in the $1 to $10 price range, um, it's not every day that those stocks are going to be super active. There's not always going to be 50% or 100% runners in the small cap market. And those are really the stocks that I like to capitalize on the most. So um, if we're lacking those in the small cap market, I might look to take advantage of a strategy like this one and start to trade some stocks in the higher priced markets. But anyway, I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna learn more about day trading, swing trading, and long-term investing, and join us in our daily trading chat, you can learn more about that at my website, Master the Market, which is going to be linked down below in the description. But anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck with your trading.